I, I really, really hope within the next couple of months that 90% of you fuckers die of coronavirus. I really genuinely do. I mean, it's my fucking big hope. And I know how that sounds. I know people are going to hate me for saying that, but you know, most of you are on my list of people I hope to God the coronavirus takes out. I hope to fucking God it takes out each and every fucking one of you. I hope to God it fucking kills you, Teddy. I hope it kills Happy Jesus. I hope it kills Michael Yeeney. I hope it kills Michael Wetzel. I hope it kills... Sherlock, I hope it kills every goddamn fucking one of you. Every goddamn motherfucking one of you. Every goddamn fucking one of you. I hope you goddamn motherfuckers die of the coronavirus. I hope every goddamn one of you. So I don't have to fucking put up with you people anymore. <sighs> every fucking one of you. I hope to God every fucking one of you dies from the coronavirus. I really genuinely do. <laughs> This could be a glimpse of America's future. Crowded Italian hospitals struggling to cope. Here, exhausted doctors decide who lives and who dies. There's no room for other patients at this hospital in Lombardy. Everyone here has the coronavirus. Doctors flip them regularly to relieve the pressure on their lungs. Most won't make it. A disaster is a, a, a tsunami. In the past 24 hours, 793 people have died. It's not only Italy's deadliest day, but the deadliest day since the outbreak began. Scenes like this could become our new reality, warns Dr. Michael Ryan of the World Health Organization. This is not normal. This isn't just a bad flu season. These are health systems that are collapsing under the pressure of too many cases. The cases that don't make it end up here. With the morgue overflowing, bodies are stored in this chapel. Every person died alone, without family or friends. Army trucks carry them away to a local cemetery to be buried quickly before more bodies arrive. It's been two weeks since the first confirmed coronavirus death in the UK. And since then, the mortality rate over the same period has risen faster than Italy. What we just saw could be a look of what's to come. Overseas, the numbers from Italy tonight only worsening. In fact, this was the number today, 627 people dying in just the past 24 hours, the worst yet. So tonight here, we're gonna to take you inside the hospital at the epicenter of their outbreak. We warn you it's difficult, but it's also a warning for what doctors on the front lines could soon face here. Maggie Ruley from London tonight. Tonight, a glimpse inside a nightmare. <laughs> A race to save lives in the Italian hospital at the epicenter of the deadliest coronavirus outbreak in the world. And this is just the emergency ward, not the intensive care unit. The ICU is already overwhelmed. Those plastic bubble helmets are connected to ventilators to help the gasping patients breathe. This hospital is one of the most advanced in Europe, but the victims are everywhere, on gurneys, in waiting rooms, in hallways. It's a very severe pneumonia. Every day, 50 to 60 patients who come to our emergency department with pneumonia. They say they want the rest of the world to know that this is what's waiting for them if nations don't lock down. I never feel so stressed in my life. We are doing our best, but maybe it's not. Is not enough. Thousands of volunteer student doctors in Italy are being rushed to the region. And an American relief group has airlifted a field hospital. But there are fears it will not be nearly enough. And Italy's nightmare is now being shared by Spain. Deaths there soaring by 30% overnight, 199 fatalities in 24 hours, over 1,000 total deaths. Reports out of Italy tonight show that more than 70% of the deaths there are in men. But David, experts say they're still mystified as to why this virus seems to be hitting men harder than women. A grim scene in the northern Italian town of Bergamo. Army tanks transporting coffins to a neighboring province. The local cemetery here is over capacity. No more room for the coronavirus dead. Italy's death toll has now surpassed that of China. 
a dire milestone that's prompted authorities to extend the current nationwide lockdown past the original April 3rd deadline. The measure aims to ease the colossal strain being placed on Italy's health care system, which is overburdened, understaffed, and lacking key equipment. But in the face of crisis, gestures of unity and solidarity have flourished across the country, 